Last week, we were looking at how we need to take these compliments that people give us so that we can boost our own confidence and become more self-assured within ourselves. There are lots of other things that we can change to help us become more confident. And today we're looking at the overuse of the word sorry. Don't get me wrong, saying sorry and admitting our mistakes is a sign of strength. It's great to be honest and admit if we're in the wrong. Saying sorry is a sign of good manners and being truthful. I feel it is essential in life. And we should all feel comfortable in being this way. By doing this, we will also be adding that confidence and strength to boost our own inner confidence. And if we all live this way, life would be happier and simpler. And this is something we should all strive to do in our lives. But what we need to do is give up the needless apologies we say in our lives. And also, we need to not take responsibility for other people's issues and problems. I think for some of us, we've become the person who takes the fall for too many things in our lives. And that means other people are needlessly getting away with things. This way of behaving isn't helping you and it's not helping the people who we are allowing to get away with these things at our expense. As they won't always come across people like us who are allowing this to happen. And when this doesn't happen for them, it's more than likely going to end messily. If we all learn to be balanced and accepting blame for our own mistakes, then we can spread the balance out to everyone we meet. This is a win-win situation for all of us. To do this on all levels then, we must also need to get rid of those excessive apologies and stand in our own truth and power. When we needlessly say sorry, we end up making ourselves smaller than who we truly are and diminish what we're trying to say or do. This will mean that people will maybe not give us the attention or respect that we deserve. And we may also get passed by by people. One of the first steps to enable us to do this is that we need to become aware of when we're overusing sorry. When someone bumps into us or when a colleague has made a mistake and the boss is giving the whole team a talking down. Maybe when something goes wrong and it's out of our control. All of these situations could trigger us to say sorry. So take the time to think about when we use sorry. Then break it down into the good and bad areas of using sorry. If we think about people saying sorry when it's not necessary, they come over as being timid and unconfident. And the message to our mind is that they don't feel secure in who they are. This is not how we want to be seen. We don't need to hide anymore. It's safe to be seen, to be confident, to be strong and secure. In many studies carried out, it does show that women are maybe more likely to be saying sorry over men. But of course, men do this too. Or maybe they do the opposite. And don't say sorry enough, which, as I mentioned earlier, is just as bad. It could be just a habit. Maybe in a meeting, we say sorry to interrupt. Now it's time to rethink what we say. Instead, we could say, maybe, how about this? I have an idea over this. Can I share my thoughts? All of these are 
polite replacements to sorry. But these are stronger, more confident ways to put yourself over. Maybe we haven't been able to answer a text and we'd normally say sorry. What we need to say now is the truth. Even if it is, I'm sorry, I forgot to reply. All the other reasons below don't really need an apology. And the new language you use will help boost your confidence. We could throw in the magic thank you in the beginning of this. Thanks for the text, we've just finished driving. Or, we've just got out of the meeting. Or, we've just got the kids to bed. To help you break the habit of overusing sorry, try and pause before normal apologies would sort of slip out. And just stop for a moment and say to yourself, have I done anything wrong? This will give you time to rethink the unnecessary apologies and stop them. Also, as you've thought about this, as I asked you to earlier in this, for those times that maybe are your danger zones and you're more aware now of the situations that trigger you, you can stop also from these behaviour patterns and you can now refrain from sprinkling out the apologies. It may help you to be more prepared with other options to use in its place, as it will help you speed up making those new positive habits. Be the strong version of yourself and shine with how you speak. It's great to give yourself these types of challenges to help boost your confidence and become a better version of yourself. You can also transform your apologies into gratitude. Here are a few examples where this can be great to use. When you might say, Oh, I'm sorry for complaining. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry for venting. You could say, thanks for listening, or thanks for being there, or thanks for being my friend. This will show that you accept your flaws in a much more confident way. This will also help us accept that we're not perfect, but we're confident enough to own that and be who we are. Be the person that throws the thank you in instead of the sorry. And boost that growing inner safety and security inside of you. And also, it will help boost all those other people around you too. You can start with family and friends. And as your confidence grows, you can expand beyond them into all areas of your life. The more you do this, the more confident you will become, feeling more safe and secure inside. Allowing yourself to be true and honest in all situations you come across. Have a great day. Thanks for dropping by.